everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Roll Charisma. I'm Shannon. And I am Steven. And we have a robot apparently. It was. It was pretty. Thanks Bahana for following. Speaking of which, this will be the person we will be interviewing today. It would be Bahana Jack. Uh, he's going to talk about uh, his TT RPG um, therapy stuff and some interesting. And then of course answer our silly questions and icebreakers and we'll get to know each other a little bit better um mm -hmm. yes and we have uh mac jackal ranger has put together his recap for the week as well as new so we have like a full thank you very much what's happening oh yes work following and subscribing because awesome. yeah. sorry i like choked <clears throat> yeah, don't don't die on stream <laughs> would we get could I, I mean, would it, would it help? It might, it might chime a little more. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, like, damn, I just subscribed and this bitch died. And then they'll be like, well, <laughs> look at this on death air or on death air. On, on death air. air. Death. And then maybe, yeah. I mean, they'll get you all some clicks and some views. I, I'll like, do it for just for the community. What would an on death light look like? Because on air is red. No, that's true. Would it be kind of like a opaque, cloudy fog? I think gray? so. <laughs> It's like <laughs> so uh yes we also have a treat for you today um our very own community leader resident artist gm uh and all around good guy has launched his expansion thank you thank you very much um for the host yes <laughs> um it's like I'm all just ADDing here. I'm like, bring, I hear, I hear sounds. Chimes. Chimes. We like chimes. Um, anyway, so we are going to, uh, wait, did I get to the part where he's launched his expansion on Kickstarter? No, I didn't. No, you said that he was just launching. So. I know. This is, I am like, proof today. Um, so yeah, we've got the Kickstarter going for the extended version of Aether and Steamworks, which is super oh, fun. Both Steven and I are playing uh, ex the new classes in our current RPG session. So we've been guinea pigs for that. He's got yeah. uh, Still Mind, and um, which, and I think your world is becoming available, Sedna. Oh, yay. Well, finally, it's just been, you know, lost out there somewhere in time. I know. But, you know, from, and, and our, our audience can gather whether how they feel about that soon, but judging by the ominous tone to some of the Kickstarter video, I'm not sure if we want to find Sedna. Um, yeah, I don't, you know, be people who have gone through multiple, multiple, multiple thousands and thousands of years back and forth of like war and not so much war and just killing each other over and over and coming back over and over, it might cause quite a mental break. And I don't know if those would be the best population to reintroduce, but we'll see. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you, Crimson Pleasure. Oh, that's a friend uh, out there. Our friend Crimson Pleasure, who is who uh, referred Jack to us, by the way, but uh, she nice. was fantastic when she came. Were you here on that day when we got to hang out with Crimson? Or is that one of the days you were gone? I feel is like I may have been gone. You, you missed... Did I miss out? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, my friend. I know. I know. I know. Well, then we'll just have to bring the crimson one back, won't we? Yes. <laughs> there we go. Um, so anyway, without any more ado, which is my favorite thing to say, uh, it, just in normal life, I don't get to say that very often. So I say it on the show too True. much. Anyway, uh, why don't we go ahead and play the Kickstarter promo video. Ty, cue Jeez. that up and give it a go. Gosh, I haven't even seen this yet.
items? I'm... I don't. You know, as a uh, player, I'm scared. Scared, yeah. But, <laughs> you know, if, if I were a GM, if had had I the, the patience to do such things, I'd be very excited. Yes, and I'd be I'm, Titans. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, but no, like as a player, it's like, oh, God. That thing was terrifying. I don't. I don't want to meet it. But also, any of them. really, really cool. And that was very oh, good. Yeah. I'm very excited. Really. So, uh, McSherry has already popped the link to the Kickstarter down there in the chat. Oh, McSherry, uh... um, well, she's so good. Mm -hmm. um, she's already got that down there, so you guys can follow that. Uh, do like Crimson did and send it to your friends and loved ones and say, "Here, yes. back this," because yeah. you know, support local. I mean, we're all local in the world. Um, and so, you know, TTRPGs, this is our community. Um, shameless plug, shameless plug, shameless plug. Do it, please. Yes. Uh, and we're all excited. Let's get this bitch funded now to the world. Let's go. Technically, it's actually already funded. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Which is really cool. Actually, it funded within like, I don't know, like eight hours or something of posting it. But I'm sorry, it was posted in 30 minutes. 30 yes. minutes. Yeah. Well, we have well, a great community. Hell yes, we do. That's so exciting. <laughs> um, oh. Yes. Okay. So now, yes, it needs more funded. I completely yes. agree. More funding funded. funded. <laughs> yes. 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 Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do some reacts uh, just for a little, a little bit. And then we'll get on to the fun and meet Jack and let's shenanigans go. ensue. I'm nervous to see what he has for us today. I know. Let's <laughs> see. It looks like a. I see coffee. Yes. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Why, though? <laughs> That's just extra dishes. Yeah, and hot ass condiments. <laughs> oh, that's true. And you're wasting tin foil. So <laughs> aluminum foil, depending on where you're at and how you say it. Tell me you don't know how to cook without telling me you don't know how to cook. <laughs> Do they, those like totally looked like 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 7-Eleven hot dogs too. Right? Like, it's awesome. It's not right. I want to see eggs. What's this one? You don't know why I sounded like no. Oh, oh no. Sick. It's a snack, a snack, a snack are... in a hole. Oh, he ate yeah, the eggs. Get yeah, them out of your mouth. You gotta spit it out to get out. You know, you kind of stuck there, aren't you? What a conundrum. Shit, <laughs> my eggs. Hello, can I pitch you? No. That gave me hardcore Mario 2 vibes. Wow. Birdo, birdo. <laughs> yeah. That's what somebody needs to do is remix that and then put the birdos on. Wow. wow. Yes. Like I, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that sound effect has a special place in my heart. <laughs> you know, it's a good one. I, I think it feels like, because, you know, it was back in the what? That was still 8 bit or 16 bit? 8, days, yeah. yeah. 8 bit. Like, we didn't have a whole lot of variance in our sounds. You know, it's like whatever no. could be played on a keypad, basically. Uh -huh. So, having that sound was, you know, it was unique and different and weird. Maybe that's it's why. It's very, yeah. And to this day, you know exactly what that sound is. That's it's true. Weird. <laughs> I wonder what the sound actually is. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's someone just going, mow. And then maybe an 8 bit. Wow. So, why did we decide that that's what that weird creature's sound made? And does it lay? Is Birdo laying the eggs? I'm from not their mouth. I, I honestly don't know. It's one of the weirdest creations. Do Actually, have... fun quick fact: Mario Two was designed in, as an entirely different game in Japan. Yeah. It was never Mario. Mm -hmm. And then when they needed a sequel to it, they just made the characters Mario characters in it. So, yeah. which is fine because that gave us shy guys and so many things now, which are like so just inherently ingrained in the Mario. Aw, shy guys and the pals. Yeah. That was uh -huh. the first, the pals. Yep. All right, what's this guy doing? He's probably drinking in, a, we were talking about this earlier, a little IPA oh. action going on. Oh, yeah. What would you say is a perfect man? A perfect man? Probably one that lasts longer than five minutes. Oh, oh burn. The perfect man. No. <laughs> He's like, damn. Oh, no. Poor Aww. guy. 
Uh, he can't help it. Well, I mean, he just maybe gets so just excited. Really gets him excited. Yeah. Uh, aww. Kind of a, maybe a compliment. I, don't know. I I don't know. I mean, who knows? I, I now I feel bad. Just feel hold bad your breath and guy. try, buddy. Just try. Is that how it works? <gasps> uh, everybody wants to see that on top of him. <gasps> if you push like you're constipated, like constipated, it makes you last a little longer. It seems like that's a good way to get a tooth. It would be, yeah, but um, hey, whatever <laughs> works to get him satisfying his lady. Why there's other ways of set? We don't need to get into this conversation, but there's there's other <laughs> ways of satisfying a lady that don't, you know, like. Well, you know, I don't know. She said continue. that was the one, the one apex thing that made a great man. Do they just, like, talking about that? Do you think they were talking about that, like, you know, just before that? So like, she's like, mm, you only last like five Maybe. minutes, and then yeah. like. So this like opportunity came out. Like, like burn, motherfucker. Damn. Yeah, maybe it was a one time. At least he wasn't that guy. It was one time. It happens to everybody. Yeah, at least he looked confused. He did. <laughs> I mean, he looked like this. It was like five minutes and twenty six seconds. You I, are a jerk. I wonder how long they have been together. Like, <laughs> if that was the end of the relationship, you right. know, like this was like the Over. second date, and he's like, mm, yeah. national TV. I don't you think you went so. viral, making me look like a fool. <laughs> yeah, it man, like, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's yeah. fine. All right, what is I don't what uh, I'm go ahead. Tone a button. Trick or treat. <laughs> so, what have we got here then? Ooh, a spooky ghost. A vampire. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you supposed to be? <laughs> I am the shadow that is cast by the sins of man. Darkness in God. Within my soul swirl the final breaths of all wicked men. Calling out. Open, Just men. Looking for... Toffee apple? Uh, yes, please. That mm. uh, was. It is a Brexit. Yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> <It's> terrifying. <laughs> Aww, I like it. I, 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 I mean. So where did the sins of all the women go? It just they said of men. Irrelevant. We just. <laughs> we don't. We don't sin. We're perfect no. creatures. Perfect. Don't perfect. sin. Don't fart. Don't poop. We actually get to go somewhere nice because, like. You know, we had to be mansplained to for so yeah, long like, that they're finally, like, you, because you, you paid your dues. Yeah. Like, go ahead. You go on a beach somewhere. You drink some Mai Tais, virgin or otherwise. You know, it's fine. Like, do whatever. <sighs> I do like that costume. It was it the same. Do you remember the, the rusty spoon? Oh, God. Never mind. I can't complete that thought well enough. There's like this other, there's this like llama. Okay. Like, even describing it. There's like this llama and he's talking to like a spoon and anyway, I'll find it later. Everyone, okay. I apologize. Sally fingers! Oh yeah! Anna, God, I love you so much. Totally salad fingers. I'm not <sighs> not a minute. Oh man. Whew. Anyway, it seemed like the same kind of animation and voice with the little thing. Oh, Oh, I feel so much better. I was like, I'm out. not going to be able to like think of this. And I thought maybe if I kept talking, it would come to me and it didn't. Thank you. Anna. Good call. <laughs> okay. What's going on with the his a? Oh, yeah. What's going on in suburbia? And they didn't notice that, huh? I feel wow. like people could have died. Easily, yeah. Just cut you in two. The force of that. And those nozzles are really damn heavy. Right? The hoses, are. too. Yeah. And oh, man. No. That's that is a way lawsuit. worse than like leaving the freaking nozzle in your car at the gas station. I just, that's actually the first thing I thought. It's like, oh, it's like leaving, leaving the nozzle in the gas station. But those <laughs> actually pop like they have a safety valve to do that. Yeah. Mm. Those people should be retrained. I'm thinking so. Yeah. They're like, well, fire's out. Just drop the hose. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I see a gorilla. What's going on here? <laughs> what? 
Aw. On your baby. Oh, no. No. What are you doing? Did you wipe your bug with your baby? Did it wipe his bug with its baby? And it wiped its bug with its baby! And then it smelled it! I what? have no comment on this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Those are our closest ancestors. <laughs> Technically, the chimpanzee. The chimpanzee, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas. Wow. Okay. Uh, just, just wept that baby. <laughs> I'm a wow of a Only what Myra would do. <laughs> ah, the bebe. Oh, uh, no. The poor bebe. That was too much. <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> so that made me laugh more than anything else. I'm a terrible person. The baby. <laughs> oh, maybe it's just because now I feel like a better mom. Like, you know, we all make you know, mistakes as parents, but I light years. never did that. Light years ahead of so that. I'm okay. I'm doing okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I never, never used oh, my, my no. child as toilet paper. Oh. <laughs> okay. What's this guy sing about? What's he got? He's got, he's cute. Aw. better than actually Cartman sounds when he sings. <laughs> that's that's true. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe he did a very good job. And I let I, he, was, he was just cute. I, it was, <laughs> it's, it's weird to me. This is totally like not related at all. But men's facial hair is weird. You know, like some of y'all got like the, which is pretty typical. You have like, you know, spots here where there is not hair. That gentleman just you had like those spots. all. Do you shave them? Is yeah. that what you do? Is that they grow in see through and like thinner than the rest, so they get shaved. Well, yeah, but some, just, yeah, a lot of people don't have it. Yeah, I was thinking that, but then like he looked. I mean, it was like a full, like just straight. I mean, thing. he was straight up Grizzly Adams. <laughs> I know he was adorable. I, you know, it's yeah. just funny that it was, it's a different aesthetic. You know, adorable. Are you so cute? Oh, seagull. Mine, mine, mine. Oh, they're mine. cute. Mine. Aww. I want to be him's friend too. Very smart. I want the Cartman singing guy to come over with the seagull um we can hang out but the that baby weapon gorilla like, mom can stay that, home. nah yeah nah yeah nah i don't mm -hmm. i don't trust her to sit down on my couches <laughs> you know oh ew oh all right all right <clears throat> what is this what's the what is what's, the, what's, what's this? this what's this <laughs> That was so cute. How long he had no idea. He's just playing with the finger. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that just dawned on me. <sighs> Hold on. This is not Stretch Armstrong. Oh, that was cute. I was, I'm always scared on the internet when children are involved and I'm like, what are they going to do this poor little kid, yeah. you know? Uh, but that was cute. That was like a super yeah. innocent break. And I think more people should do that one. Super good. 
This guy looks <laughs> kind of like our friend Edwin there with the pants. It the does, hair. yeah. What's up? What's up with this guy? No, I. You've been caught. Oh, 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 oh. Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> you know. If you dance, it makes everything better. You know, if I was working my menial job or whatever as a retail worker, uh, which we've both done, and I was sitting there watching that on camera and I had the opportunity to like, I don't know, call the police or something like that on that person or ex nay them. I'm not sure if I would after that little I dance. Wouldn't. Yeah, no way. Because it's like, you know. It's fine. You're you shady. Put it back. Yeah. Now get out. Get and what back. was it? Pasta? Like. I, it seemed like it. It was it something like bizarre a like bag that. Bag of pasta. Macaroni. macaroni. I mean, everyone loves macaroni. Mm, macaroni. Mm. Oh, it's Shaq. What's Shaq up to? I bet you $20 I'll buy the chip, won't even make a face. Like, man. Like, without making a face. There's nothing to me. Ah. <laughs> Is that a little? <laughs> I'm not making a face, I'm just, yes, you I'm, not, I'm just coughing. I'm not making a face. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Anybody got some milk? <laughs> good times, good times. I think this is where the meme comes from, yes? Oh. Fun me? fact, did you know that he is a Freemason? I'm not surprised. Aren't yeah. most rich people Freemasons? Mm, no. 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 A chunk mm. of them. When I'm doing the one, when are we going to do the one? Ch I would do the one chip challenge. Um, I have GERD, so probably never. Sorry. So I guess I will be doing the one. I chip watch challenge you. I will everyone, react to you. Every man I love in my life has stomach problems. Y'all. Sorry. What are you doing to your guts? I don't know. Sherry, <laughs> girls episode where we will eat the one chip. Uh, there you go. And you laugh at you. That. Gertie Celiacians. Ugh. Yes, I'm down. And Rob can do I love how Anna volunteers Rob and not herself. Yeah. So Rob, Rob can, can do, it. do it. Rob can <laughs> definitely do it. I'm down. You know, we could do that as a community building thing. That's Those, true. You know, yeah. I'll tell you what, if I had I have my Prilosec in the morning and I've had my Pepsid the night before and I have liquid <laughs> heartburn medication right next to me, I will do this chip challenge with and you. And just chasing it with like liquid roll like, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we could make it a competition even. Uh, to see, like, who can go the longest without sipping milk or or as long something. As before I have to drink my Mylanta. Hmm. <laughs> is it Mylanta or is that There's, a laxative? I think I don't. I don't have stomach problems. <laughs> I can't remember. I I don't I, know. Pe a I Pepto. Drink that's minty. Sure. Yeah. Pepto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's it's like a creamy consistency. I'm like you were trying to say cow. 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 What's for stomach acid? Invoiceable bill, invoiceable bill in the sky. My yeah. Okay, so there you see, go. That's what I, that's what I, I see drink. a penny. What's happening? Is that a penny? Yeah. It's penny. I see it. I see that. I do. You will not. Magic! I got it. That worked. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> like, you hell win. no. <laughs> I go, ah! <laughs> like, why does that penny feel so strange? She's so puffy. <laughs> <laughs> Pops. I will not. Why are they using pennies? Uh, and the British, maybe I guess they're in the United States. They can do bleh. Oh. I'm sure that gentleman's a very nice man, but he looks like a serial killer. Yeah. I'm going to I'm say sorry if you are one. I've never said to not live in soul in my life. I mean, and how you didn't. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Um, my my guess is Scottish. Something. Um. <laughs> uh, Literally though. Onion. 
when they speak like fast and just their straight up like normal terminology, it is oh, not even. I was watching a, I think it was on Netflix. It was called Still Kicking, but it was like a BBC Five show that yeah. was BBC Scotland. And it was like set in a village or whatnot. And uh -huh. it literally, I'm usually, you know, like I'm usually really good at picking up yeah, accents yeah. and understanding sure. what people are saying. I had to turn on English subtitles. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. English. Like <laughs> they were speaking English, but I had to turn on right. subtitles just so I could understand them. And it took me two or three episodes watching through with the subtitles right. before it finally, like I could hear it. It's crazy. It reminds me of Robin Williams when he does, before he does the golf spiel, he does the whole, like, when he's asking the American in the bar the questions, and it's, like, all in the Scottish accent, and, like, it's all about how they're completely, un un you can't understand it. I mean, it totally, <laughs> it once you up. get it, yeah, yeah. Like, like in it, it was one of those things where I couldn't, and then it was, like, click, I'm like, oh, my brain's like, oh, I understand now. But, yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's rough. Uh, uh -huh. I would love to be able to just bust out like a me too village. they updated my ancestry did i tell you this i was like 99 percent freaking british and now i am 42 percent scottish actually oh. i'm mostly scottish out of everything so oh there you go okay. i'm that qualifies me as a kilt right do i get a kilt i'm getting a kilt at the renaissance are, you are not a kilt but well yeah you'd probably have to ask someone from scotland because i need to I'm actually Irish, and we don't wear my... skirts family the mm -hmm. plaid pattern because every family has a different oh, plaid yeah. pattern. Well, and you have, have a family no crest idea. ours is a lion Ooh, crest. oh yeah which is cool because it's the same as like arthur pendragon oh no he had the dragon yes. and then there was the lion but it was another one of the maybe it was one of the other nights i don't remember my arthurian like, like history is slowly fading <laughs> from not a, being used right a utilicate Kilt, oh, utility kilt. They have all sorts of cool kilts. Oh. The, yeah, even so the black ones too. At the Renaissance Fest, Renaissance Fair here, there is a whole shop where the guy hand makes all the kilts, and he finds your actual patterns, and he's got the little like pouches with the little tassels that hang off, like everything, and he'll build it custom for you. And I want to do it. All right, this is the last yeah. video, and then we're gonna go hit our break so we can get everything going. So hit us with the video. The what? Video. I'll see you later. Hi. He could take the god out of that, but the rest of it was fabulous. He was so aggressive, though. No, he was aggressively kind. Sometimes you need aggressive kindness. Maybe I just do. I don't want that. <laughs> well, I liked him. He yeah, could I be my too. friend. <laughs> Like, I would like, follow you know, compliments at you, so your anxiety goes up. <laughs> like, okay, I'm good. No, I, know who, I know who I is. <laughs> it's fine. No, well, you know what? Like, anxiety, it, it, being yelled at doesn't make my anxiety go away. Actually, it makes it, it helps. I mean, it's not, I'm not being, like, yelled at mean things, but, like, like having a way to like, channel. On the fuck down! You are awesome! I'm like, oh, my God, thank you. Thanks. I feel so much better now. Sorry if I blew out anybody's Just eardrums. Like jar you out of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we got to get, we are on time schedule. So thank you for the bitties. Yay. So we're going to go ahead and go to our news and our recap. And then we are going to come back with Jack and do our thing. So stick around and we'll see you shortly. Goodbye. What's going on everyone? My name is Jackal and this is the recap for this week, starting with Dreams of Silver and Stone. Nova and Clay, no last name given, are currently figuring out that there is a lot of Vincir in Stockfoot still. They're still trying to reverse the Halophage, and after returning from an orphanage, they find Brownie, and of all people, Crimson Mane, back at the house, making them breakfast. As I rally up for a bitter, sweet infiltration, a carriage pulls up. Turns out it's Kiara, and she's got pocket change. Lots and lots of pocket change. The group assembles and begins to push into the compound, stopping outside and disabling the driver for a clean getaway. Just as sleeping gas hits after the uh, food 
Crimson Mane Red. Mane did actually make for the group. Kicks in. And somehow the party manages to just, yeah, you know, let's just brush it off. No problems there. Uh, my bullshit sense is tingling, folks. And they make it inside the facility, actually. With Kaizen in tow and Pip. Wonderful little Pip. The group manages to make some progress before Crimson Mane betrays them. Yeah, apparently Crimson Mane has been planning this from the start to get them to go to this facility, stay there, have Nova captured, and, you know, just sell her off to Aurora. Ah! Heavy fighting ensues as the party makes their way towards freeing Patchy, who we find out has actually been living for about 40 years, which is double the skicks in lifespan. You see, Patchy has been constantly captured and recaptured and tortured and captured and recaptured and tortured for their longevity potion. Something skicks and don't really have is longevity. And it turns out that Patchy has been testing it on themselves. Get it right. Anywho, um, they manage to destroy the facility and everyone gets out okay. Just in time for uh, Kiara to realize that there is a giant dragon in the sky and it's possibly going to eat them. Uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. In other news, Pip sacrifice th sacrifices themselves in order to, I'm not making this up, pull the sill out of Kaizen's head. Who reveals that they're working with Abraxas to the rest of the party, but that's old news because there's a giant dragon above the sky. The Vincere have used still tech in order to create a bomb to, to simulate the Halophage, and I swear I'm going to have Municipal knocking on my door if I keep talking about this stuff. Ugh. <clears throat> Anyways. They rally up and prepare to head out with Clay and Kiara actually managing to find some help. But that's a little later. On to Sparrows. Sparrows got their shit kicked in yet again. We find our crew slowly making their way towards Saberhold, collecting themselves, licking their wounds. They manage to actually bump to an old mechanized face. Donnie. Donnie's running things for the Sparrows, taking care of business every day. And working overtime, apparently. Crew manages to recruit Donnie after Amos does what Amos does. I'm still trying to figure out what Amos does. But Lesrin is a mystery, even to me. Another crew member they pick up. The wonderful, beautiful, honorable, Reverend Parson Roland St. James September. Blessed is he who walks the path of the light and follows the way. Esquire the Third, Heir to the St. James Monastery. Meanwhile, Myocenus. Which is where they're headed. Myocenus, not the St. James clergy. They will show you the way, though, folks. And as they're scuttling towards the uh, hmm, blockade around Myocenus, because apparently there's been an Invincior Uprising or some stuff like that, they encounter a ship. Springing into action, the crew poses as mercenaries. Which, it's about time, if you ask me, considering their exploits. But that's besides the point. <laughs> Turns out it's Captain Cal. Cal is back in town, and... And... And, apparently the sparrows get to get in. To Myocenus. Just in time to dock, to Henry dock. Find a couple of people you may have met before. A certain person, no last name given, a beautiful noble woman with a lot of pocket change, and who also happened to know you know who. Yes, know who. It's Clay and Kiara, folks. We're coming up on a crossover event. Sparrows. Dreams of Silver and Stone. I look forward to your adventure, Ty. This is Jackal.
Over and out. That's cool. What are you doing? Oh, I, I'm just reading up on some of the people who are in our next election. You know, mm. it's coming up soon, and it's good to be impl- to uh, be informed yeah. and, and to remember to vote. I mean, no matter what you believe, you can affect change in the world absolutely just by voting in the local elections. That's a that's a great point. And you know, a, a lot of the TTRPGs, especially in the last five years or so, have also been good at affecting change. Yeah, kind of yeah. opening people's minds and and learning about new cultures. Yeah, into the motherlands was good for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Coyote and Crow. Of course. I I just wish that there was a way that we could maybe. Take more direct action through TTRPGs. You know, it's it's it's, it's good that you mentioned that. Um, I was looking at some TTRPGs online, mm-hmm. um, and I actually found that um, that 37 TTRPG creators have joined forces with uh, librarians and leviathans Ooh. that created a charity bundle where you can get uh, $267 worth of TTRPGs for 20 bucks. Oh, that's amazing! And that's a good deal. Even better, the uh, the, the, it's, it's, it goes to a charity. Um, it, is, it supports um, Afghan refugees. Oh, that is wonderful. Yeah. So one game that uh, in this bundle that caught my interest uh, mm-hmm. is called Sapling Soul, and I think I liked the name. The name is what caught my interest first because I'm like, oh, cool. It's kind of nature related, sure. but maybe you're a living tree. Um, it actually won an award, uh, the prestigious Sandy Pug Game Awards uh, in 2020. Um, but anyway, in this uh, RPG, uh, you are part of a forest, so you oh, are kind of a sapling. You are a tree. Yeah. Uh, usually the forest is very quiet and serene, uh, but sometimes the forest calls you uh, into action, and when it does, you must act. Wow. Yeah. That's so, exciting. The game is a journey through the forest. It requires mm-hmm. a journal, a D6, and a D20. So I thought that was pretty cool. And... Um, I like the the journaling aspect of it because it's kind of you go on your own little solo journey and see how you've how you've grown, you know, throughout the game. I like that. Um, the aim of the RPG it's it's not to win um, or to defeat enemies. You're not fighting monsters, um, but the, the the aim of it is to discover a memorable story. Um, hmm. So when you come across a scenario, you roll your d6, see where your journey will end or where it will lead to, and then if you complete the test of empathy, of nurture, uh, or unknowable. And then a d20 is rolled under that attribute to see if it is a success or failure, and then another d6 is rolled to face the consequences. Wow. So um, it's designed to be difficult. Um, Like I said, you you won't really win, quote-unquote, win the game. Um, Mm -hmm. You will fail, but sometimes some of the greatest learning um, comes from failure. I mean, I've definitely experienced that in my life. I think everybody has. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. Not only... Are you able to do good by educating yourself mm-hmm. in, in another's light? Right. Uh, but you're also actually able to do physical good in the real world. I like that yeah. combination a lot. Absolutely. It, it just seems like a very cerebral, very deep RPG. Um, and I like that, that they say like every failure is a, is a story um, because it you, you learn from the failure and then maybe the next time it will be a success. I but like that. that's why you have the the journal to kind of keep track of where you've been, where you are, and then where you, where you'll be. Speaking of successes, mm-hmm. have you heard that not only is Aether and Steamworks available on DriveThroughRPG.com dot mm-hmm. right now, but there's also a Kickstarter for an expansion Ooh. that has already made it to its second stretch goal. I did not hear that, but that does not surprise me. It does not surprise me either. I. It's also an excellent game that can be used to teach empathy. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I appreciate is that orcs are no longer really villains. They're they're the good guys. And yeah. Yeah. It's it's nice to kind of get a different perspective. Yeah. Absolutely. I like that. Good way to look at it. Yeah. Well, so do you think I should get this keyboard or should I get a drum set? Um, are you going to be playing here? Uh, yeah, I was going to start a band with the cats. Uh, definitely the keyboard. Cats cats are great on keyboard. <laughs> like that? Exactly. Yeah. 
Okay. And I'm going to purchase it right now. Thanks. We're back! And I Hello. have been told to inform you that we are experiencing a windstorm. And it is perhaps possible that the wind could cause a power outage if we disappear. That is what is happening. So I have done that. So now we're going to introduce Jack on the show. Everybody Kermit flail for Jack. Yeah! Woo. You're on! On the big screen. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Yes. Hi. How are, how, how are you doing today? We're doing pretty good, I think. Super dandy. Other than maybe blowing away, but um, that that, that eh, could be a problem. It could, or you know, it could be a start to a grand adventure in a movie franchise. Do you, do you have Ever a Poppins it? umbrella? Is the question because mm. if you do, you could go anywhere. That's true. I'm gonna have to invest in a Poppins umbrella. Maybe you I are. could DIY something with a bed sheet and a <laughs> curtain rod. I don't know. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> So how are you? How, great to have you on the show and been having a good day. Yeah, great to be here. No, absolutely been uh, going fantastic, developing new trainings and writing, uh, keeping work on our new uh, uh, upcoming therapeutic RPG that we're designing called Branch Riders. So tons of fun stuff that we're working on at Bodana. Mm, that's yes. very yeah. exciting. Can you, oh, kitty. Oh, Kinky, oh no. yeah, that's uh, this is Ozzy Mandius. He always joins me for broadcasts. Hi, oh, Ozzy Mandius. Oh my goodness, oh, 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 perfect, oh, pink oh, mouth. Perfect, perfect pink nose. <laughs> yes, yes. The gray, so cute. Anyway, so tell <laughs> us actually about. So you're developing a whole new. Is it like a part of D and D or a whole new system for the therapy? Uh, or, yeah, it's a rundown. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, so uh, we are developing. It's a proprietary. Uh, engine all on its own uh, nice. and the whole idea is that there are eight worlds to, uh, within the game and each of the worlds is designed around a genre as well as a skill building concept so for example we have a social skills world which is a superhero realm so all the superheroes are of course very over dramatic and right. you know, everything's corporatized so it's all about like contracts and image so it's all about you know giving people like parents and therapists and educators a way to more easily tell stories that can work towards therapeutic concepts or skill building concepts within the framework and structure of the narrative. Uh, while Ooh. at the same time helping kids explore different realms, different possibilities. So we're we're in our secondary playtest stage. Um, very excited about the way that it's been going. So hopefully some some news on a 2022 Kickstarter launch. So, oh yeah, hell, let yeah. us Absolutely. know. We will. Yeah, get that awesome. out there that's awesome cool. i love that you're literally empowering people yeah like like you're taking the <laughs> you know like the game to play and then so we're gonna do superheroes so we're gonna empower you to be you know be able to have these social skills and things like that figuratively and literally that's Beautiful. awesome it's it's not just a clever pitch right yeah. <laughs> but it is also a clever pitch it, yeah it is, yeah. It is. Yeah. It, it's a <laughs> absolutely all right well um we are going to get you to roll on a d20 and we are gonna ask you a bunch of random icebreaker questions so that everybody out here looking watching and can can get to know you a little bit um and then we'll kind of circle back and then by the end of it we'll have you do a little bit of pitching on where people will be able to find you and all of that fun stuff but for now absolutely sure give it die a roll all right uh, 19. Oh, Go ahead, oh Steve. I. If you could play any one game again for the very first time, what would it be and why? Hmm. Any one game for the very first time. Uh, I would probably have to say uh, the Ghostbusters role-playing game. Oh uh, what, it was it was actually the first serious role playing game that I ever played, and I'm actually a huge freak for the franchise. I've seen the original movie uh, probably over 400 times at this point. Wow! Um, so it it just the humor, the ease of the system. Fun fact, not to borrow from your page there, but uh, it was the first role playing game system to use a dice pool mechanic. Interesting. Oh, wow. I never that heard awesome. that before. Yeah. So are you excited for the new one that's coming out that has the original new guys? Movie? The new movie? Yeah. I new have movie. cried every trailer that I have seen. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm super so excited. <laughs> yeah. I, 
I just watched the international trailer and people are like, there's spoilers in it. I was like, well, there's kind of spoilers in every trailer, so yes. I don't understand what you mean. But I'm going to cry every time that I watch it and think of, of Harold Ramis. So. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I am so glad other people do that when there's something that they love. Come on. Like, I'll get yeah. that way too. Like, there'll be a cameo. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, Dick Van Dyke and the Mary Poppins Returns. Like, it, you know, random yeah. stuff like that. And then it was like, oh my gosh, it's actually Dick Van Dyke. Or, yeah, like, you get so in love with it. I didn't know that that was a it. TTRPG. Yeah, yeah, that's it, interesting. It was, it was published by West End Games in 1986. I actually have. Uh, an original box set back here from that time, and it was published by West End Games, which was based in Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, actually, and I, I never even knew. I was like, I could have drove to the factory and got, wow. it, you know, right. but, uh-huh. you know, what are you gonna do? So yeah. So you drink? I just see you sitting there, like kids and rolling dice and drinking ecto coolers and like you know yeah. watching Ghostbusters and like fun, eating fun Stay fact. Puft marshmallows. Ecto cooler is just peach, cool high C colored green. It's peach. That yeah. sounds delicious. I've never been able to. I I've had ecto cooler and I absolutely thought it tasted green. But now that you mention that, <laughs> my world has been green. flipped. Yeah, <laughs> no, I did. I tasted green. I don't to know me. if tasting orange and tasting green are the same thing. I don't it's think green so. Flavor. It is. I mean, I th- I think it is. It tastes like green. Like some things just taste blue, you know. Like I get blue the blue. Well, green. I suppose I understand the green. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Skittles messed me up though. After they switched oh. their lime to the sour apple, and now I don't know betrayal. what the hell green is. Can yeah. they return to lime? Is I, there I like I don't know. Have you heard this? Have you seen this? Have you seen it yet? Uh, I just don't I like the apple that. one. That's all I'm saying. I vote for it. You know, the apple, yes. I like the apple flavor, but it fucks up the rainbow. Yeah, like all like of them the together blah, blah, blah. is what makes the flavor of Skittles in my mind. And the green yeah. just screws it up. They're now. fine separately, but I'm the person, I'm going to pour it in my hand and then shove right. an entire right. handful in my mouth. Because that's how you do it. No, how, how you do it is you get a tin and you throw a bunch of Skittles in there, mm-hmm. a bunch of regular M&M's. And a bunch mm. of Reese's pieces, mix it up, put it out at a party, and just oh. wait for the screams. Yeah, you, know you never know what you're gonna get. You're crazy, but I love it. That's okay. you know, and I don't know if I would be mad because you've got the textural different. It'd be weird because the it textures. would be a shock. Yeah, <laughs> pop them in. Yeah, I I would be the one who'd fall for that because I am the grabber scooper put in my mm-hmm. mouth. So I'm the perfect like subject like, for that. That's weird. Some of these colors are fucked up. Oh well. Try to look, because if I'm just talking to you, I'm like, blah 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 blah. Oh candy, I'll... that's my word. Purple M and M's. What? Yeah, the, what is that? <laughs> they sometimes do. Um, I voted for purple M and M's when they did the blue, purple, or pink M and M's when they added blue back in the early oh, '90s. Yeah. I voted oh, yeah. for purple, but you know that was the days of our life. Uh, go ahead, roll another. Oh, another, uh, another. 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 You sir. I must be playing darts, uh, 18. <laughs> wow. I'm like going backwards. I'm like, just seven glee glee all over my keyboard. All right. <laughs> you all right, Stephen? I'm good. Okay. Smunky all, right. all over your keyboard? I'm oh, sorry. no. <laughs> as long as it isn't like mom gorilla wiping her butt and smelling yeah. it with her baby. That's too I, much. I, uh, that tickled my funny bone, though. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> that made me laugh. All right. So you are a mad scientist. Money mm. and ethics are not an issue for you. What you? are you creating? What am it's I inferred. creating? Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the scenario. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's half, the first thing off the top of my head, I don't know if this is a mad scientist thing, <laughs> but I, I want to create deviled eggs that don't negatively affect my cholesterol. Okay. Hey, I'm down. I mean, I think that's a mad scientist thing to do. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I think I see. I don't know if that would be too healthy for a mad scientist pursuit. I mean, <laughs> we, you know, the definition is is open to interpretation. Yes, mad yeah, doesn't necessarily it? mean evil. No, right? not angry. Yeah. Mad. Like, no, like, yeah, just crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She screws loose. I mean, yeah, you could yeah. do anything in the world, and you modify 
deviled eggs. That That's seems a mad kind of mad. Yeah. <laughs> no screws at all. <gasps> oh shit! Talking like alien tech now. How do we do that? Yeah. <laughs> three, three. <laughs> I like it. So I mean, now we're gonna have to infer that you are quite the fan of the deviled egg. Mm. Absolutely, it is yeah. is the perfect mix of the you know the yolk mix with mustard mayo. Do you also like chop up olives mm. and dill mm -hmm. pickles? And you blend that all into the mix, so you get the flavor intact Yum. in it. And it should be so smooth it comes out even smoother than icing. Are we mm. talking black olives or green olives? Uh, both, if you want to get crazy. Oh, with it. oh shit! Yes, yeah. love it. All right. Oh, I... oh snap! <laughs> both <laughs> olives. What? 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 Oh, you're crazy! Olives. You are mad. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I go ahead and roll again. All right, all right. 13. Lucky 13. 13. If you could travel through time without causing any wibbly wobbly timey wimey issues, when would you go and why? Hmm. That's a very good question. Uh you could go any anywhere in time. Any when? <sighs> any when? Any when in time. Uh, I, I I don't know. I'd have to say that I would go about maybe 500 years in the future. Okay. Just to see how just, things play out. <laughs> yeah, just to see how things... Because there, there's not yeah. really like... Like, I'm not really a history buff or like a historical event that I'm like, oh my god, I gotta see that. You know, so it's just... I mean, maybe I'd try to go back to like Roswell, New Mexico in 47 mm. just so I could either prove something or shut a lot of people up at the same time. Right. Like, actually, I was there. And uh... yeah. weather balloon, knock it off. <laughs> weather balloon. Keep the X Files, but knock the rest <laughs> of it off. Yeah. <laughs> That's Fair good. Enough. Yeah, I, I couldn't, I can't blame you. It, it is very enticing to just kind of see I'd what see shakes out of the shit show. You know, mm -hmm. in the future, like, do we make it another 500 years? Is it Mad Max in 500 years? Is it Utopia in 500 it, years? Exactly. Did we arrive at the uh, Demolition Man future? Right. Has the planet just purged us and recovered. Right. Is it Star <laughs> Trek? Off and we're all gone. Right. Yeah. Star Trek? Well, it may be Waterworld. You know. You don't know. You don't you know. Don't like Waterworld because I'm very scared. No matter what the filtration system is, uh, system is of drinking my own pee. The urine. That's oh, the urine. and the whole world would Yuck. be covered yeah. in water. You know, I never thought of that before, but now I will never be able to unthink of that. <laughs> so thank you. You changed me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right, let's do, uh, we're going to do one more icebreaker, and then we will hit the lightning round, which will theoretically be faster questions. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, that was a repeat number. Uh, <gasps> nine. Number nine. <clears throat> number nine. Who was your nine. number nine? Who was your favorite all-time character you played in a TTRPG? Tell us about them and why they were your favorite. <clears throat> Uh, it would, well, it would be the character that I actually continue to play in one way, shape, or form. Weird story. Uh, so John, John Airedale was a character that I played way back when as a Ghostbuster. And what had happened was we, we were playing it, and I liked him because he was, like, at the time, hero, like, fiction for me as an adolescent. I was very shy, didn't really, like, have a lot of friends. And games were kind of my entrance into developing confidence and identity. Like, it was part, you know, the whole reason why I do what I do. And when I played the character, my buddy at the time was like, oh, I just got the Marvel Superheroes RPG. Let's make superheroes. And I went, okay. So we did this adventure where our Ghostbusters characters went through this weird time warp thing. And we wound up getting superpowers. So... Then I made this character be like this rich millionaire who was like Batman, but he threw boomerangs. His name was Volver, which I guess is Spanish for to return. And ah. so after that, we then went to play Shadowrun, which is set in the far future. So I said, well, why don't I just do Thomas Airedale, who's John Airedale's like grandson? 
So then we went to play Cthulhu, and it was in the 20s, so I said, well, if I had his, you know, future iterations, I might as well go back to the va to the Vine. So there has forever always been, in every role-playing game that I play, a member of the Airedale family. And it was even funnier when I started to play Pugmire, because all of the character surnames are dog names. Right. So I, went, I was going to make so an Airedale Terrier naturally, joke. Naturally, I have an Airedale. Yeah. In, in this <laughs> campaign, so it it, it stuck with Classic. me because yeah, it was it was just a character I fell in love with. It was the first character I played long term, uh, and it's and it's still to this day is is a character that that family name is in every role playing game that I play. That's awesome. That, that is awesome. Do you have an Airedale Terrier as a like an adult now? Pretty no, cute. I Other than don't. The now -now. I I don't have an Airedale Terrier, but I do somewhere. I can't find it here. But I actually a friend of mine at a yard sale found like one of those cross stitch pictures, oh, yeah. and it was a little Airedale. They saw it <laughs> and they were like, "Oh my god, we gotta get that for Jack!" So I I totes had that in in my array of things. So that's awesome. Epic. That's so fun. You love them so much. They continued the lineage throughout throughout time. Yes. yes. Time and space, which goes back to the other yeah, question. Absolutely. Look at that. It's all it's all cohesive. It's coming Synergy. together. Synergy. Yeah. Yes. All right. So now we're going to hit the lightning round, which we're going to hit you with questions that are a little bit faster. Uh, we do tend to, and all of our guests tend to tangent from time to time because we're all sure. talkers. TTRP. Don't say. Streamer. I know, right? <laughs> Weird. Um, so if that <clears throat> mood strikes you, you just follow your bliss. Okay. Um, okay. But we'll we'll start. Go ahead and, and hit him with number joy. one. Yeah. Taekwondo. That was so five years ago, Steven. I, I am still watching it, so. <laughs> uh, do you cover your eyes during the scary parts of a movie? Uh, when I watch scary movies, yes. <laughs> uh, invisibility or super strength? Invisibility. Favorite Disney princess? Oh, Disney. Snow White? Oh, you went classic. Way back, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. You got a good voice. She did, she and did. she you know she was um she was nice. She she didn't she was she wasn't very problematic in a lot of ways. I mean, she was the good old fashioned Disney princess, um, but she made friends with like a bunch of weirdos, and like she wasn't classist. She was like super, you know. She just kind of rolled with the as punches. long as you overlook the breaking and entering thing in the dwarf's house, we're just, fine. Yeah. What's a yeah. little beanie? You know. what, what's yeah. a little beanie? Like, nah, it's fine. She cleaned. She, I I honestly, <laughs> if someone wants to break into my house true. to clean. You have right at it. You know? Yeah. Really. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> My thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, dawn or dusk? Dusk. Well, I think I know the answer to this, but what children's movie could you watch over and over again? <laughs> well, I don't know if Ghostbusters is a children's I Actually, it's It was for be... me. <laughs> oh. It, well. It, no, My children got totally. scared. Oh, I watched that in the theater when I was a wee little lad. <laughs> I actually have never seen it in the theater for all the times that I've seen it. Weird, weird, oh. weird enough to say, I know. The children's movie I can watch over and over and over again is one that most people don't even know exists. It's called Animal Olympics. <gasps> and it's an, anima it's an animated feature from 1980, I believe it was, or 81. It stars like Billy Crystal, Gilda Radner, Harry Shearer. What? Now, I, I will warn you, a lot of the animation representation, definitely 80s, does not hold up. Gotcha. The Mildly problematic. Humor, yeah, it's it's animals doing Olympic sports, and it has this amazing soundtrack that is all 70s soft rock done by the lead singer of uh, 10CC. <laughs> it's, it, if you could find it's on Amazon. You I'm going to have to find it. Yeah, For one it. thing, Gilda Radner animal is a hero of me. mine. Oh, she is fantastic in it. Funny yeah. ladies. I love funny ladies. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, she was one of the funniest ever. Agreed. And then animals, uh, cartoons. Uh, these are all I'm going to I'm a, I'm going to be checking this out. Um, <laughs> uh, what's your favorite junk food? Uh, uh, favorite junk food? Uh, cheese curls. Ooh. Uh, favorite childhood TV show? Oh my gosh. Uh, Our Star Blazers. I haven't heard of that one either. Uh, favorite season? Favorite season? Uh, fall. 
What was your last Halloween costume? Retro marks. <laughs> Yay. Uh, cake or pie? Cake. Favorite breakfast cereal? Ooh. Uh, cookie crisp. Yum. Ooh. Cookie crisp. <laughs> Uh, do you prefer to play tank, DPS, or heals? Uh, it would probably be, I would probably say tank. All right. Uh, do you believe in fate? No. What song on the radio do you sing with every time it comes on? Watching the Wheels by John Lennon. <gasps> oh, yes. Song. Have you ever worn socks with sandals? Absolutely never. <laughs> <laughs> sandals are an abomination unless you are a gladiator. Well, oh, you yeah. don't even sandal. No, and, and my last oh. name's Birkenstock, which is even more ironic for that answer. Uh, oh, the that... irony. <laughs> That's beautiful. Because <laughs> my favorite sandals are indeed uh, a, a Birkenstock. So. <laughs> oh, they're sandals are required shoes. where I come They from. are quality <laughs> shoes. And they do make more than just sandals. Yes. Oh yeah, they make great shoes. Also, they I've do. heard. Are you? Are you? Are we? Are you heir to the Birkenstock fortune? Technically, according to German pronunciation, uh, the sandal shoe company sh is pronounced Birkenstock because it's Birken? B I R K. Oh. Um, e R K is Birkenstock. So technically, I know I'm related at some point. Someone thought, I don't want them to know I'm German. I'll change the I to an E. Yeah. Right. yeah. Great thinking. Yeah. Probably Staten Island, you know. Like, yeah, eh. probably. Like, yeah, Somebody said, well it's done. Birkenstock. Okay, that's been a B I R E. Birkenstock yeah. is Birkenstock what your name is, is now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Bro broken stick. Got it. Yeah. Move along. Next. <laughs> Got a lot of Next. to do today. Right? You see that line? <laughs> Wrapping all the way around the Statue of Liberty. Um, if Voldemort offered you a hug, would you take it? Could do him good, right? Yeah, good. Little kindness goes a long way. It's true. Uh, is double dipping at a party ever acceptable? Now we wrote this before COVID, and I still want to say <laughs> true. we wrote we did. It's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll say pre-COVID <laughs> minus being in a global pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, does the answer to the question change if Jason Alexander if Jason Alexander is in the room? Probably. Is this a Seinfeld reference? I, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I did not double dip. Um, no, I, I, uh, I don't think that that's okay. I'm, I mean, I'm not a germaphobe by that definition, but it's just kind of gross. Yeah. So put it on a put it on a plate. That's why there's a spoon in it. It's true. <laughs> Typically at parties, right? It's like it's true. we put it there for a reason. Not, not just pretty. Ignored. Yeah, exactly. That's fair. It's uncouth. Yes. Um. Uh, no, I lost it because we were 18. talking about. Oh, thank you, Steven. How long would you survive in the zombie apocalypse? I'd say pretty long. I'm I'm good with people, so I can get a lot of things, and I'm actually pretty pretty good shot with a with a rifle. So there you oh, go. I I I can deal well with it. That's what do thing. your favorite pajamas look like? Uh, whatever t-shirt I'd happen to be wearing that day. <laughs> ah, Just a t I, huh? I do not have a formal <laughs> pajama. <laughs> well, pajama. I don't, I'm not telling. <laughs> Actually, so throughout doing this show, which, I was, gosh, we'd have to look at this. almost been a year. It's um, been a while, yeah. Yeah. Um, we have learned that most TTRPGers and people within our community do not wear anything to bed. Negative stroke. Yeah. <laughs> Stark ass naked. Yeah, because yep. most people kind of do that little thing like, well, I don't usually wear anything to bed. And then we're like, well, your lounge clothes then, but. Yeah, I'd like to find out how many people still buy and actively, seriously wear pajamas from like the Dick Van Dyke show. Where it was like the matching right. top and bottom with the pocket. Oh yeah. Well, I okay. Understand that. So I do. I I do wear pajamas, but they not to, to bed usually. Or loungewear. Yeah, and then the and I buy them uh, 
for my husband and my children. Uh, my husband doesn't wear them very often, but I will buy the full like Dick Van Dyke button down thing and he'll wear them on Christmas. I mean, Johnny Rose still wears them every day. Yeah, well. <laughs> but yeah, we should have a national census. Like that should be part of the census questionnaire. Like, um, right. do I, you I, wear pajamas? Do, or do you have two separate smaller beds like in Dick Van Dyke where you have two twins? Yes. That you just occasionally push together when you want to reproduce. I don't know how yeah. that works, but <laughs> anyway, we see tangents. It, it happens, and this, yeah. this is our fault. It happens. Um, would you rather cuddle a baby panda or a baby penguin? Panda. Yeah, it's hard to. Yeah, We've also said, would you rather cuddle a baby <laughs> panda or a baby tiger? Tiger. Tiger. That would be yeah. great. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> most important question of the evening uh -oh. did you have fun on the show oh absolutely Yay. are you kidding a show that doesn't <laughs> give me adhd prompts to like no no back no no, no. we were talking about this thing here no right? yeah i could find no show for rambling beautiful i <laughs> that yeah uh, I, I have ADD, <laughs> and so the, like, squirrel and tangents and things, it's a beautiful thing to share with people in a constructive way. <laughs> they and on? Steven's just, like, good to go with whatever. His brain works fast or slow, or he can point in a direction. He's got a golden brain. I don't know how he does it. You got, you got, a, good, you got a good flow between you. Yeah. I've known him forever, too. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. this is where you're going to tell folks where, I didn't mean that be said ultimatum me. This is where yeah. you will, if you would like, <laughs> tell people where they can find you on the regular and then you can recap kind of what your project is and you got sure. the audience. It's your show. <clears throat> Go. Mr. Jamil, I'm ready for my close up, sir. <laughs> no, uh, mm. so, uh, uh, again, I'm Jack Birkenstock. I'm the executive director of the Bodana Group. We're actually a nonprofit that uses gaming for education, therapeutic, and skill building applications. So we run direct services. We have uh, training and consultation that we offer uh, for folks. We run uh, webinars. We have our own Twitch channel now, which is just Bodana, uh, B O D H A N A. Uh, but you can find everything at our website, www.thebodanagroup.org. Um, we, Which Mick like, Sherry is uh, yeah. dropping in chat, so you can find oh, those thank links, you, thank anybody you. watching. Yeah, we like I said, we, we basically we specialize in individualizing gaming, not only role-playing games, but also tabletop board games. Uh, modern board gaming has so much to offer. We have an annual convention. It, it unfortunately, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately, but it just ended. Uh, it's always the second week of October called Save Against Fear. Uh, and that's our annual fundraiser three-day game con. So uh, look out for news about our return to in-person cons for next year. But yeah, we have our Branch Riders project. Like I said, trainings, consultation. We have books on drive through RPG. All of that, of course, you Easy. can find over on our website. Yeah, we're... We're, we're a little busy. <laughs> but, and then but you also, good. you do streaming as well? Yes, we, we just started actually all of our panel content from Save Against Fear. We had about uh, 14 different panels. Uh, we had a lot of uh, good folks from the gaming industry. Actually, one of my favorites was we were on a therapeutic game design panel with uh, Eddie Webb, who is the designer of Pugmire. Uh, we also had a couple of Onyx Path Publishing uh, panels that were on rich thomas from onyx path is actually one of our board members and a huge supporter of ours so yeah it was we got a ton of great contact uh queer identity and queer gaming uh neurodiversity panel a bunch of great stuff over on our twitch that you can go check out and you know go to follow the channel as we work on putting out more and more content um that's that's kind of one of our big old missions but yeah, we we it's always hard to like summarize what you do in like two minutes and i'm like right ah, you did a pretty ah. damn good yeah, job that was, that was um, pretty good. yeah and honestly <laughs> i mean we've uh we've had that you'd be the third person i think from the community on your your guys community on the show um and it everybody is amazing uh your personalities are super fun and fun to watch and your streams so everybody should go check them out and that's yeah. a really 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 cool way to like 
I don't know. It's just, it's super cool. Yeah. <laughs> Doing good work. Doing good work Absolutely. over there. Yes. I mean, you're helping people. You're doing cool things uh, for people. And it's just, yeah, all of that stuff. Bravo. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Harumph. 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 All right, everybody. So um, follow all those links in the chat there and like, subscribe, follow all of the stuff um, for the, for the, well, is it the Bahati? Bah I can't say it. But it's, it's oh, okay. No. Uh, it's uh, if you put the separation between the O and the D, it's like the old Richie Valens song, O'Donna, O'Donna, O'Donna. It's a, it's, it's a Sanskrit word that means leading to an awakening or an understanding. So we learn things about ourselves through playing the game. We don't have to hit you over the head with a therapy hammer That's during happening. the session. So. Yes. But that's awesome. Especially for folks who might be resistant to therapy but are totally down to play a game. Right? Uh, gotcha, you, you grew. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I learned a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for joining us and thank you to the weather for not yeah. you know, blowing us away. So, hopefully we'll still be here. You to Oz. Right. Although I, I've got my phone handy. I will be live streaming from Oz. Should that happen? Everybody tune be. in. Uh, yeah. yeah, we'll be finding munchkins and befriending witches. I mean, straw men. I don't know. You know, having both... dick trees throw apples at you. Well, you know, you... <laughs> she didn't apologize. She plucked <laughs> off their flesh. You know, like. <laughs> What would you do if you're just walking along or you're not even walking, you're just hanging out in your house and some person comes and plucks something off you. They had a point is all I'm saying. Fair um, enough. Anyway. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Yeah, we will see you next week. Uh, we've got our regularly scheduled programming for uh, Roll, uh, Roll for Chaos. So um, join us for that hang out see our other shows i am too tired to do the plugs i will just fuck it up but thank you, you guys for coming little schedule right there it'll That's tell you right. everything you need to know Nick sherry's fantastic uh thank you again jack for being on the show and we thank will you see for having me absolutely yes. we'll see everybody next week bye, bye. you will <laughs>